Right guys, West Wing Swallow, the fuselage. Right, so what we're looking to do is, this is gonna take some planning because we're gonna end up building two fuselage sides on top of each other. So, a little tip, one of these little tea lights. What I'm gonna do is, is just run that all over the frame. You don't have to go mad, but anywhere where you think there's gonna be possible gluing, just run it up and down and I've just run that over the plan like so I've taken about that much off so what you want to do is um, we're looking for this part here two of these so what you want to do is um, just cut this out very gently with a knife it'll push out when it's pushed out there'll be a little bit of surplus um, bolster on the edges so you literally just with gentle sanding take those little notches out so what we're going to do this first fuselage side is we're going to lay over the plan like so and my advice would be is to stand up and actually look down over the plan because that will mean you will get the this ply fuselage former as it's called the front of the fuselage in place and what you want to do is when you've got it in place and you're really happy with the position just the first one, what we're going to do is I am just going to just hold that a couple of places, just a couple of places because we're going to have to remove these and when you've just put a pin in just make sure that you've still got it centred. There we go, that's not going anywhere but I've used the amount of pins. Now what you want to do is, this is your 3 mil squared again. You want to get four pieces because what you actually want to do is you want to cut these to shape now so that you've got all four cut to shape. These are known, these long ones are called longer ones, fuselage longer ones, and you want to cut four of those. So cut yourself four of those to shape. So what we're going to do, we're going to end up gluing two of these in position and cut and shape. I will go through those in a minute. So we're going to cut and shape those in position and then we're going to glue all the cost members for one complete very much like building the rudder and the elevator so we're going to just add these in sections all the way across when I've done this whole section I'm going to allow it to dry when it's dry we're then going to build another complete fuselage on top exactly the same as we've done the first one but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay this little bit of uh, grease proof paper over the top so I can still see what's underneath. But the nice thing is we've got all the long runs cut to shape already. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just cut these to length and then I'll show you what it looks like completed and then what I do when I do the second one. Right, here we go guys, <clears throat> I've done the one basic fuselage side, a couple of little tips, don't nail into the spars because you're going to have to bend these longer ones, the longer pieces, so you can see where I've just popped the pins in and that will help you to keep the curve. I'm going to leave this overnight uh, to dry. A uh, couple of other little things, the, all these little off cuts from making the longer ones do not chuck them away because these are what you're going to end up making uh, your cross bracings with so do not chuck any of these away uh, just put those to one side so I've now got my second set there um, to go on that's all ready so I'm now just going to let this all dry and then tomorrow evening what we'll do is we'll just off these pins and we'll get the fuselage uh, other side down we'll put some pins in and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you how I sheet the top of that. But um, literally you can see when you get to building this, you'll see why I said let's start with the rudder and the elevator first. Because this here is literally all the same um, construction techniques. So see you shortly.